Hey everyone, Steve here from Big Head Tech and today this one's kind of an uh, improv 2 unboxing and this is unfortunately because MSI with their B450 Tomahawk is having tons of problems with Ryzen 3000 not booting. And while there are fixes coming, I have benchmarking to do, I have a lot of testing to do and when it takes 20 times to boot, over half an hour sometimes each time, then I, I can't do that, especially if I'm swapping between five cores or RAM speeds or whatever have you. So, Asus to the rescue, although they didn't send this to me, I did source a very inexpensive, the Asus Strix B450-F gaming motherboard. This is not as good motherboard from a quality standpoint, but I'm gonna do it, do it a little bit different. So come along for the ride, and hopefully you'll like my new style of motherboard unboxing and overviews. So this actually doesn't have doublers. What it has, it has one high side and two low side. And the VRM that is used is the 4C10B for the high side and the 4C06B for the low side. So this is according to the Reddit page and um, the post, which should be found on the AMD subreddit, is called AM4 vcore vrm ratings to help you decide on a motherboard for third gen ryzen posted by capital c lowercase r 1318 and it is a it's a very good resource i'll put a link in below it says and i'm going to disagree with this and this is based off of what i've seen before is it should be able to handle up to a stock 3950x and i'm going to say no if unless you have precision boost overdrive turned off but I would say this would be a perfect budget board for like a 3600x uh, 3600 or the 3800 3700x so that's my take on there let's take a look at the board layout here so we have two fan headers up here one two four pin two down here and two down here so total of six which is a lot that is a lot for a board like this uh, we have two m.2 connections we have four pin RGB there four pin RGB there. We do not, from what I'm seeing, have addressable RGB, which isn't the end of the world, just keep that in mind. Uh, we have plenty of USB headers, we have a USB 3 there. We have a single eight pin out, a single 24 pin. From a power standpoint, this will handle a 3950X, no problem. Eight pin will put out 384 watts, which this VRM will probably catch fire before that would happen. Um, not saying that it will, but just not able to handle that. Looking at the rear I.O., we have two USBs. It doesn't say if it's two or three right here, so it might be two. That's USB 3, 3.1, 3 and 3, USB type C. Then we have display port and HDMI out, gigabit ethernet and uh, surround, 7.1 surround. And just so you guys, just so everybody knows, it's the Intel i211AT, that is the LAN chipset. And it does support up to gigabit out. Uh, it says eight channels uh, of audio, and it is the ROG Supreme FX High Definition. The audio codec is S1220A. Well, that wraps it up. This was the unboxing overview, hopefully a little bit of a deeper overview than what I normally do, of uh, the ASUS Strix B450-F motherboard. At its price point, it's not an easy recommendation, but given the issues with the Tomahawk board at the time of filming, it's really not a bad alternative. Yes, the VRM and VRM cooling is not as good because that's a true four phase rather than using multiple uh, low sides to keep up. Um, but for a lot of the people that are buying like 3700, 3300Xs, 3600, 3600Xs, it's probably gonna be fine. Might run a little warmer than others, but it has a lot of features to go with it. So that's it. If you wanna buy it, link in the description below. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. If you don't, get subscribed, leave a comment, hit a like, um, buy this. It'll help me out a lot. And as always, this is Steve from Big Head Tech, and I'll see you later on down the road.